I think my favorite thing David has ever done, well, one of my favorite things David's ever done is tormenting people with the electric fence. That was good. Of course, he, he did electrocute Nicole. You know what? She took it better than anybody else. She did. That was the moment. Yeah. yeah. That was the moment that I decided this chick is cool because she took it like a champ. Well, and we then had sat that, back and watched everybody else get whacked without telling them. I'm like, well, she's my kind of cool. <laughs> we had that weird dude here, and he got zapped, and she's like, if he got zapped, it was totally worth it. <laughs> so we're just uh, doing a mixture of butter and uh, olive oil, and we're going to get that going nice. Mm. Butter and bacon make it better. Mm. We'll set butters down. We'll... Uh, We'll hit it with uh, some shallots. This is the uh, Ranger 2 blind stove. This is more, like my favorite little cook stove. Hopefully we won't run out of gas. You gotta get that plumbed into the main line. I did find out on these mini bottles, if you're using the mini bottles with it, if you run both burners, you pull the gas too fast, it'll freeze up the regulator. Really? It can only, those little mini burners can only run one, one side of the stove. Yeah, we need to put a tap in your uh, main line or you'll never yeah, worry about it again. Yeah. Okay, shallots, and they go down first, garlic second. Why? Why do you think? Because I want to caramelize the shallots and the onions and not burn my garlic? Not burn the garlic, exactly. Mm. That's just a happy smell. It is. Shallots are, I don't know, man. Like. I feel like I've missed part of my life not really appreciating the shallot. And with this much butter, you don't really want to do a, you know, a napalm toss. <laughs> do you uh, want to convince somebody else to them? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you're talking minimum second degree burns. I'm fine with somebody getting first degree, moderate second degree. But like when you're like. We all have to find our limits. Good to know where they are. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can see, you know, the argument and who wants to waste a bunch of good melted butter. That too. I mean, yeah. I was more concerned with somebody having giant blisters on their arm. Oh, I thought you were going more along the line that they'd get to the emergency room and they would get get that, that dressing pulled off and it would just be an awkward moment when the uh, ER doctor was, man, you smell awesome. <laughs> All right. You don't want the garlic next? Yeah, bring the garlic. Ready? Yep, throw it. Now that's the smell, once the garlic goes in there. Right. Just a little bit on the garlic and then we'll get the mushrooms. Oh. You wanna... Man, you're right. I wish we had smell of vision Smell that? As soon as that goes in there, all of a sudden you're like, wow. Whoa. smell of vision mm. And the shallots come out more too. I don't know why, but they do. Wow. Mm. This all is right. one of those things I like making in the house. These are uh, shiitakes, right? Shiitakes and oysters. Mmm. Mmm. There's a fungus among us, and it is going to be delicious. We'll cook those down a bit, and we're getting close, I think, to where we need to DV the sous vide. I'm going to call that good enough. You all right? You have an issue? You have, you have an issues there, ma'am? Yes, sir. Game on. I can do that crap, Jack, if you need me to. Huh? You want to take care of this? No, I was just going to get stuff out of your way if you needed me to. Oh. No, I was just going to... These need to be taken oh. out. Which cord? Ah! Cord. Yeah. You want to uh, try to save the uh, juice inside it or no? Uh, no, you know, you know what I usually do? I, put, I dump it in there. <laughs> but I've never done four at once, so I don't know if we need that much of it. Hate for it to get too wet. God, it smells awesome. Yeah, if you get those out and just we'll do the juice of two, and the other part can be thrown away. Usually I save that, but. Oh, there's the smell. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes, sir. Man. See? 
meat juice, man. So you need, it looks like a lot of butter. No, it's really uh, reduced down to very little. Yeah. It's because those mushrooms sucked it all up. In fact, we might have to add a little oil. Yeah, we'll add an oil after we add our bourbon. All right. The bullet. Bullet bourbon. You know, it's not a bad bourbon. Maybe it should ignite. Yeah. There we go. Fire. Fire makes it good. There we go. A little bit of sticking there. You know what? We can go ahead and let's get the rest of that bee juice. We'll use it to deglaze. All right, you ready? Yeah. That works. Got one more? Yeah, you can throw the other one in. That way we don't have to discard it. Yeah, it's easier than having to clean it up. Yeah. We'll still add ourselves a little bit of oil. And then I'm gonna add some greens. I'm using um, chard and kale, but you can use any greens that you, that you would prefer wilted down. I like the chard and kale because they're a little bitter and the, the mushrooms with the shallots is kind of sweet, especially with the bourbon reduction. So it looks like a lot of greens, but... Oh, that'll be nothing when it... It'll be nothing. ...wilts down. Not nothing, but it'll be very little. Yummy. Oh, happiness. God, so those kind of work, and we will go get the steaks onto the grill. The secret to the sear. Oh, dry? You want them dry. I should have dabbed them off before. Yeah. I was thinking about that and just didn't hit it. Get them nice and dry. No, that is something I haven't started doing until just like the last probably two years. Yeah. And it's crazy what a difference it makes. See, and the thing about sous vide, you pull the steak out and it just looks awful. It really does. I mean, look at that. It like a science experiment gone wrong. There's still some more juice in these bags too. We'll uh, dump that in there. Dave, you want to go give that uh, yeah, greens a stir there? I can't wait till we get our island in here because I just I have no place for utensils or anything like that right now. But all right. Oh, it's the magic over there. This should be a very quick sear off. There we go. Another thing that's good, but I figure we've had our, our bacon ration for the day, is when you make this, put a couple couple pieces of bacon in, cut up. That's about done. Oh, that's bacon ration of the day. That's not a thing. If I was single and going on a blind date tonight, I'd hope she'd show up wrapped in bacon. <laughs> She's not very attractive, but she does wear bacon cologne. Oh, okay. A little salt. We'll help those greens cook down. Let's see. Look at that. Yeah, there's our sear. You know what that is? That's all that dadgum bacon grease. We'll use that to our advantage here. I was worried we wouldn't get a sear. We're gonna get a sear. Man, love the smells going on. Oh, that's all that rosemary and that uh, steak seasoning there. I guess that that smell that some of us really like. That's all that mm. need. That's done. I think quite the sear that you get on a, oh my God, that one's mine. <laughs> that one's mine. I'm gonna actually give you that one because you, you have gotta to share call it dibs on meat, man. That's saying something. All right. Let that rest a bit. A 
little degrade to take that flavor up off the pan. It's time to eat, boys. I'll whip up some quick drinks. Yeah, whip up some drinks. We'll let everything rest a bit. That's not gonna get cold or nothing, and that meat needs some time to let the juices kind of settle. But I do think it's it's still a piece time. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ah, oh, that doesn't suck right there, no. man. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's the that's the Siegler secret. I think it really makes a difference on the dirty because that way as you're picking it up. You get that hit of brine right before Salt. it hits your mouth. Yeah. So, otherwise, you're you're looking for it. Yeah. You don't have to get as much brine in it to get a good dirty this way because your your smell is doing a lot of the work. So, it matters, gentlemen. Sacrilege. Yeah, I'm in the. It it doesn't bother me to eat them lower than that. But 135 after rest is pretty perfect. But yeah. Well, remember, it's not like um, conventional where you're going to have like that continuous run up in heat. I guess it's pretty it much is there. what it is. Yeah. Guess your sear off is the only extra heat that you're adding to it. So we're gonna yeah. we'll get this on camera one one plate and then we're gonna sign off, folks. And that's gonna be our dinner. That's a that's a hell of a dinner for a paper plate, but uh, it'll make cleanup easier. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you want to see in the future, and we might do it. We probably won't, but let us know anyway. Food.